Hey everyone, uh, I'm Levi Polzin at Levi Warner on Instagram, and this is Under the Surface. Today is just going to be a quick video. I'm going to show you kind of my process of trying to mock up stuff um, for clients and just for fun um, in Procreate. Um, this is kind of a little tutorial too if you're trying to design better for all skin tones. Um, so you know if if you don't you aren't comfortable completely in designing for um, black and brown skin. This is a little tutorial for Procreate of how you can, that might help you design your or alter your design so they work better on black and brown skin. All right, let's get into it. So yeah, as I described in the opening, um, I do this a lot of fun just because I like to keep on my toes with drawing body suits and designing for all skin tones. Um, but I, I do this in Procreate a lot. Um, I mean, if you go into my gallery, you can literally see tons of photos that I, I just rip from the internet, um, with different skin tones, different body types, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I can just design for everybody. You know, I've got, yeah, lots and lots of photos. Um, but I want to show, I, I know it's a conversation we've been having a lot the last year in tattooing especially, um, and people are, maybe some people are awakening that they've just kind of haven't been designing their tattoos for everyone. Um, or they're just wanting to expand like, how can I design my tattoos for all skin tones, uh, skin types, you know, all bodies and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so, you know, I have a couple examples of things and how I do it. Um, and I do this a lot for clients, but I just do it for fun, as you can clearly see. Um, I just kind of grab uh, model references from from the internet all the time. And, you know, I'm constantly grabbing just photos I think are striking of people and, and how, you know, that could... Uh, and then I just draw bodysuits on them and uh, you know see what everything works you know what certain things read what certain things may not read as much um, and uh, and but the, I also do this for clients and so it's a really cool way um, here's one that for an upcoming client where they have a really big cover-up as you can see here and so this allows me to design a tattoo and then also see where things might show through a little bit. Um, I'm going to go to a different one here for an upcoming client. I'm pretty excited about this project. We were supposed to start it this last year, but obviously COVID has really um, kind of stopped a lot of our traveling and whatnot. Um, and I moved completely out of LA, and that's where this client is. So um, let me see if the, this photo is a little little dim. Let me see if I can just brighten up the screen just a little bit. Oops, sorry about that. Anyways, um, this is a snake and cloud and uh, cherry blossom sleeve that I'm going to be doing on a friend and client of mine. Um, a client I've already worked on, I did a big uh, tiger piece on his thigh that I, that I really love. Um, but this was I had him send me this photo. I usually like to find a really good, like a medium uh, lighting for people uh, when I'm taking photos. Uh, and it's always hard whenever you have somebody else taking a photo. But anyways, so in this photo, um, what I do is I, I just take the raw image they send me or that I take, and then I'll just start sketching over top of it. Um, you know, and, and really get my layout and everything of where I think that I want it. And then especially when you're working with people with more melanated skin, you're working with more black and brown skin, sometimes you want to really pay attention to how things will represent themselves um, once it's healed and the openness of the design. Um, so what I do is I go into the layer um, I have this separated in two layers, a line layer and a shading layer, um, but you could always like 
uh, merge it all down into one layer and, and then you just have it on one layer. Um, but you could do this each individual layer or um, you could do it, uh, if you merge it all into one, you could just do it on that final layer. Anyways, so what I do is you go over here in Procreate on your layers and you have kind of these little letters which are you kind of, uh, they're, they're filters that you can put on the layer. So this is what the normal layer would look like if I hadn't have done anything, which doesn't look realistic. It's not going to be accurate to what that is going to look like on any human being's skin. Um, so I, I should preface too, this isn't what I just do on, on black and brown skin, but it's just what I do on literally everybody's uh, tattoos when I mock it up and procreate because I just find it allows for a more realistic interpretation of what it will look like once it's healed. So if you go in there, it's got a bunch of different stuff. Um, a bunch of different version filters and stuff for the layer but I just go all the way to the top and there's this multiply layer and I hit that and then I take the opacity down a little bit um, this one I took down 86 uh, percent but sometimes I do a little bit more sometimes I do a little bit less it depends on the photo and the lighting and everything uh, I just kind of do it to where I think okay that's what it'll kind of roughly look like once it's healed um, so if you do that, I really find you achieve a result that looks roughly of what you and the client could both expect the tattoo will look like once it is healed and settled in the skin. Um, and so I really find if you're, you're just starting tattooing or, um, you know, if you've worked in an area where uh, you just it's predominantly heavily white and the thing is is if you're doing that and you're tattooing a lot of white people and you're not having um, black and brown skin represented in your portfolio you're more than likely not going to attract more black and brown uh, skin to get tattooed by you so um, this is just one way for you to design better for all skin tones um, you know and it's something I really love doing um, just as an exercise and for fun for myself uh, you know I've done it quite a bit on a lot of different photos just famous people always fun Wesley Snipes when I did Tiger and Wind um, you know and it's it's just a fun and interesting way and a fun interesting project and it's something you can really apply to um, your work and I think even if you just have like so say here's what I did for my girlfriend Julie I I wanted to kind of show her traditional tattoos on people and so I literally just took tattoos she had cut them out erased all the background um, and then each one just is multiplied in that that layer and so it just allows you to see kind of what generally things will look like so you can there's a lot of different ways you can do it Anyways, quick little video. I just thought it was something fun that, you know, everybody could try and really um, experiment with their own, you know, work. You know, if you have an iPad and you have access to this um, technology, there's no reason, you know, you can't be seeing what your tattoos will look like on all different skin tones um, and really designing the best tattoos for everyone. Anyways, that's all. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, we'll see you again.